Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I make my homemade cat food for Sylvester for $1.18 a day. Okay, um, before we get started with the recipe, I want to just say really briefly that I'm going to be dedicated to this channel, so please subscribe, uh, like the video, ding the notification bell because I plan on making videos every week for you guys, so I hope that you will subscribe. Okay. First ingredient is going to be sardines, and I already have a little piece of sardine in here. You want about a half an ounce to an ounce, so the cost per day on that is 14 cents. The next thing is about a tablespoon, like a heaping tablespoon of organic pumpkin. Now you can use different sources of carbohydrates for cats. Um, I'll use kale spinach or broccoli. I tend to rotate between those four things. So about a good heaping tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of pumpkin. Daily cost on that is 18 cents. A liver, about an ounce of liver. Daily cost on that, 16 cents. Chicken thighs. I also use tuna, sometimes turkey or fish. Um, we buy packs of about 14 thighs for around $9.50. So daily cost on that is about 66 cents. Uh, let's see, next, eggshells. Eggshells are for your calcium. So I give Sylvester about a quarter of a teaspoon per day. And my cost on that, I just estimated that as one penny because it's so little. Kelp powder. So this is gonna be Basically his vitamin source, lots of really good trace minerals in kelp powder. Again, a quarter of a teaspoon, so not a whole lot. Um, the daily cost of that, the serving size is so minimal that I estimated that as a penny as well. Uh, let's see, next is Torium. That's famous. Everybody's hungry, they're waiting for their food. Taurine, cats cannot make their own taurine, it has to come from the diet, so it's one of those essential ingredients. So I take a capsule and I just lightly sprinkle it over the food, just as if it were salt, just a light sprinkling. So if I had to guess, you would take, these are 1000 milligram capsules, and I will spread one capsule out throughout the week. And so the daily cost on that, I estimated it was two pennies, I mean it's probably less. So all of those things combined add up to a dollar and 18 cents a day. So I have all seven meals here prepared and then all I'll do from here is walk it over, dump it into our food processor. Make sure you get everything out. And I like to do it in individual servings like this. I just think it makes it easier when you come home after work, you can just pop it in the microwave, warm it up and serve it. So just a quick pulse. Bring it back over here. Put it back into the container. And then that's a completed meal. Okay, backing up. So what I typically do then, obviously Sylvester will get this meal tonight. Um, three meals I put in the freezer and then three in the refrigerator. Um, I do put the, the three in the freezer because I found that because I'm making seven meals at a time, uh, the meals on like Friday and Saturday tend to get a little stale and um, he's a picky eater, I guess. He's, he's also a princess. We have a bunch of princesses in this house. Um, so it just keeps the meals fresher if you freeze them and then, um, you know, pop them in the microwave when you're ready to use them. Uh, okay, so who's hungry? Thank you guys for watching. I hoped, well, I hope you liked the video. Okay, see ya.